Welcome back everyone. This is chapter 4. We are going to see how to install a Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 in graphical mode. By default, I am going to choose install Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7.3 now because we have already seen those step by step how to install the CentOS. The same steps we are going to follow in the Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7. There is nothing different between the CentOS and Red Hat. If we want to use any operating system for uh, open source with uh, every updates and everything just like uh, Red Hat Enterprise if you want to practice the Red Hat Enterprise certifications you can use the CentOS uh, just the variants of the Red Hat Enterprise Linux is CentOS so all the packages whichever you are getting by paid uh, support or paid packages installation uh, repos everything included in the Red Hat Enterprise will be free of cost in CentOS and moreover all the packages will be included in a single ISO in CentOS it's almost about 7 GB let us see how to follow the step by step now it's already demonstrated one so it's very easy to follow just I am going to choose the English as my uh, system level language continue click continue uh, if you want to choose any other language you prefer language you can choose it from the left side uh, now I want to choose the date the time zone was I am being in Dubai right now so I am going to choose the uh, Dubai as my time zone Asia and the region is Asia and the city is Dubai the network time is not configured we can see how to configure the network time later I will show step by step for that it's a, in a, it will be covered in a separate chapter I have choose the Dubai as my time zone and the keyboard layout is English by default is choose I'm going to change I'm not going to change it the installation source will be media other two we have already seen so let, let me choose the package the package again I am going to choose one is uh, minimal installation because minimal installation will choose only the uh, required operating system packages it will not install the all the packages so that the server will be free from uh, many install packages and unknown services and we can avoid uh, filling out the space uh, the same stuff which I followed in the sendo is I'm going to configure the uh, layout by I will configure the partition and choosing the I will configure the partition there are 20 GB space a single disk space free space is available so I'm first I'm going to configure the boot with 500 MB by following I am adding one uh, let me choose the home as a 1 GB the boot partition always want to be a standard partition and the home root and swap can be in the logical volume so that we can extend if the size want to be extended in future if the clients coming and asking me whether I want a, a more space in home directory so that if it's a logical volume we can extend the size so let me add the swap done and the root it's 10 GB I'm going to use for the just demonstration purpose by default uh, by default the device type was LVM choose if you want to configure the uh, if you want to change the volume group we can change it by default it was rel only the boot or boot partition want to be the standard and the other want to be logical volume let me accept the changes so that the partition will be created and by following we can configure the host name and network uh, by clicking the on uh, the IP will be assigned from DHCP and my host name I'm going to use is rel7 full dot Linux gig videos dot com okay then we are going to configure the IP manually I'll show just I am not going to configure click the configure under the general just choose the choose the choose the automatically connect to the network when it's available under the static if you want to choose a static IP we can click that uh, under the IPv4 choose the static under the IPv4 choose the uh, static and we can assign the IP already we have seen that on uh, CentOS so it's not required now uh, once it's all done 
we can click the done okay uh, we don't want to use any uh, security policy here, so I am going to off it by following drag down uh, I am just clicking the begin installation and defining a root password now the root password is I am going to use is red hat as usual it's a weak password so it's not recommended to use in the uh, production uh, and let me create try to create one of the user with administrator privilege sysadmin make this user as administrator and the password is radar again I am going to use radar I can choose a strong password uh, now the, we can see that creating XFS on Dave mapper rel root the partition has been rel uh, root partition has been created uh, running pre-installation check sorting package installation process so the package will be copied right now for the installation purpose and it will take a little bit time to copy the files and start the installation it's almost start out of 384 package the 4 has been done now I am going to fast forward because it will take uh, because I am using a virtual machine for the demonstration purpose and it will take more than 45 minutes or 30 minutes for my installation it depends on my uh, server my uh, laptop availability so let me fast forward it's almost done now performing post installation setup stacks uh, once this complete the it will install the init ram fs and the bootloader and it will create the users at last it will show the the server was ready it's installed with the operating system now we can see it's installing a bootloader bootloader will be installed and while the reboot happen we can see the boot uh, boot menu the grip menu that they are uh, choosing choose red hat in uh, rescue mode or uh, the normal boot while rebooting time we are going to see the grub menu that one is installed by the bootloader again it's showing the configuring installed system it's uh, writing network configurations, creating users, init RAM efforts. It's taking a little bit of time. It took more than 30 minutes for uh, installation in the virtual machine for this demonstration purpose. Almost we are done. Uh, click reboot to complete the installation. The Red Hat Enterprise Linux is now successfully installed and ready to use. Okay. I'm going to click the reboot and the machine is rebooting the ISO file or the DVD will be unmounted automatically this is the grub menu and the bootloader which was installed earlier it is booting up in this stage if we press the escape key it will show the mail many files are loading it's almost booted we got the login shell I'm going to use the root and the red hat is my default password. We are in and the up time is almost only 0 minutes. Just now the machine was up. DF my message showing the defined layout of the positions. And it's all done. We are going to see how to install the Oracle Enterprise Linux in next tutorial. Please subscribe to our channel and keep on watching the full tutorial. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Click the above GNU logo in the right side corner so that you will be subscribed to our channel.